Okay, so uh, knowing that, why don't we try to um, figure out, just looking at the periodic table, the uh, electron configuration for iron. Okay, we can do the noble gas shortcut. The last noble gas before iron is argon. So the core is going to look exactly like the electron configuration for iron, which would be what? 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6. That's what argon is. And you come down to the next row and you're going to fill up these. It's going to go 4s2 over to iron. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, um, 3d6. Okay? 3d6. Three, um, and, the, and that would be the electron configuration for iron. And iron has 26 um, electrons. This is iron right here. Iron has 26 electrons. And if you count them up here, getting up to argon is 18, plus 2 more is 20, plus 6 more is 26. So this is the um, shortcut electron configuration for argon. If I wanted to um, write it all out, I could do the very longhand notation, which would be 1s. 2, 2s, 2, 2p, 6, 3s, 2, um, then it goes 3p, 6, like that, and then 4s, 2, and then 3D, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Whoops, you see them there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I kind of moved over on my things a little bit, but you get the point. Um, that's the longhand notation for um, electron configuration for iron. So we can use the periodic table as a tool to um, determine the electron configuration. You don't have to memorize um, the order because the uh, periodic table tells us what it is. And then